Data collection is absolutely vital in today's society. Businesses, for one, they need to collect data from consumers so that they can know what products will sell. Uh, government institutions, they need to gather data to know what the people want. And there are countless things that we know as a result of gathering data. Here's just a few. Uh, one thing we know, or well, these are things I found on the internet, so who knows how accurate it is. Anyway, 10% uh, of the population is left-handed. 37% of the population has O positive blood and 21.8% of the world is vegetarian. So those are just a few interesting um, things that we can know because someone else made the effort to gather data. Now, I've got a picture of shoes that are on sale at some shoe store. Who knows which store? Anyway, the reason I wanted to point this out is, have you ever been to a shoe store where shoes are on sale and notice that none of the shoes on sale were the size of your foot. For instance, um, in, at this particular shoe store, they might, most of the shoes might be size 12, because not many men have size 12 shoes. They might be really massive ones. Or they might be really small ones, like size 7 men's. And not many men have size 7 shoes. Well, in my opinion, they don't. But anyway, and we notice it's not with shoe stores, but with clothes stores. Um, you know, all the ones on sale might be extra small or extra, extra large, and, and none of the sizes that you really want. And the reason this happens is because the clothing store or the shoe store ordered in too many of the size 12 shoes or too many of the size 7 shoes or too many of the XXL t-shirts. And so they had too many of them, they had to sell them, and, and they lose money when they have to sell them cheap, right? So what could happen if the shoe store wanted to make sure that they didn't have too many size 12s, they could gather some data. And the data they would want to gather is what percentage of people, they want to figure out the percentage of people who own each, each shoe size. So they're like, okay, well, let's take all the shoe sizes from 7 to 12 and and we're going to try and figure out the percentage of people who wear each size of shoe. 